Hey, somebody stop that guy! He just robbed me! Hey, Ken! A little help? Not my problem. Somebody stop that dude! You hey. must make the- That sounded like a gunshot. Ben was my rock in a world where I couldn't count on anything. A world where my parents disappeared. Where a genetically modified spider bite turned me into something... new. But now, Uncle Ben was gone. For his memory. For Aunt May. To make up for not stopping his killer when I should have. I had to become a man. Spider-Man. And I've done some good. Put away a lot of bad guys. But I haven't found the man who killed Uncle Ben. Just one more empty space in a life full of them. The man who killed Uncle Ben is out there somewhere, and I will find him. I'll never stop looking for Uncle Ben's killer. Never. Hey, Larry, these guns are heavy. How about a hand? I set this gig up. That makes me the boss, and you the hired help. So shut up and put some effort into it. <sighs> the ringleader looks like the guy who killed Uncle Ben. But I'm not sure. I need to get some pictures on him. Let's get a good look at this guy's ugly face. Now that's a beautiful shot. That's not who I'm after. What the? your lucky night. You're not the guy I'm after. Unless you had a tattoo removed. No, man, no, no, no. I'm, I'm afraid of needles. And heights. So how about let me down, huh? Relax, you're fine. What? Until the webbing dissolves. So, but, you know, the cops will find you by then. Please, what do you want? Maybe I can help you find who you're looking for. Just, just put me on the ground, yeah? Because the jails all have the same fashion magazines. Because there sure are a lot of criminals who look like you. Uh, huh? I'm trying to find this one. Yeah, 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 I, I, I seen that guy. Oh. He sells guns to my boss, Herman Schultz. Lying will not improve my mood. Yeah, yeah, I swear. I swear, Mr. Schultz is doing a deal right now. Look, I, I, I don't know if it's with him, but he's buying enough firepower to take on an army, man. Army? Oh. Which army? The, the Russians, man. They what? arm up, we arm up. Scary <sighs> times, man. You, you gotta be ready for anything, you know what I'm talking about? Tell me where to find Schultz, okay? Maybe I'll upgrade your accommodations to a uh, yeah. fire hydrant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do you say? Yeah, Sounds yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh huh? Uh -huh. Got a deal? Snap! Now that the cops crack down, every crew in the city's running low on guns. This will give us a hell of an advantage. You mean us? Surrender the guns and maybe you live. Come get them, punks. How about I take the guns? I don't think you guys are qualified to use them responsibly. Ah, you must be Schultz. Your goons said you were ugly, but whoa! <laughs> 
He was being charitable. Think you can take me, huh, freak? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna make it easy for you. Oh, come on. All your friends did. What planet is that called fighting? I'm begging you, man. Look, don't kill me like the others. We can make a deal. Others? Yeah, I've got money. Guns. Just tell me what you need, huh? I hear you do business with this guy. Uh, sure. What do you want to know? Huh? The tattoo. What does it mean? Uh, it's a gang thing. <laughs> there aren't any gangs using that symbol. We, only a few people have it. It means he's a specialist. A guy who can get you anything you want for the right price. And he'll kill anyone who gets in his way, huh? Yeah. I already knew that. Who's the man in the picture, huh? Uh, 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 Carradine. I don't know if that's his real name, huh? He sells guns without those annoying background checks. Where do you meet him? I mean, it's different each time. You put the word out you want to make a deal, he calls. Always on a disposable cell phone. He's a real paranoid fella, you know? Yeah, I... I, I he must have a guilty conscience. I, uh, uh, come on, we got a deal? Huh? Why can't you and the Russians play nice? Huh? Are you kidding? After what they've been doing to our people, then my guys feel like uh, they have to escalate. You know, it's bad for business. But, but, but what are you gonna do, huh? <laughs> Stop it, and you're gonna tell me how. I I'm not sure you can. You ask me, it's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better, huh? You want the guy in the picture, huh? Look for a gun dealer in Alphabet City. Okay, he goes by Carradine. I think I got his latest number here in my phone. Wait, don't! <laughs> Stupid! I was so desperate for answers, I let him play me like an amateur! <sighs> That's not Carradine. But whoever he is, I can't let him put more guns on the street. The spider! Let's not fight. Ah, never mind. Let's fight. I'll buy a trip. A Molotov cocktail. Your call, Spider-Man. Chase us or let those people burn. <laughs> oh boy, much obliged, Spidey. Anytime, Stan. Hey, how'd you like me to call the Daily Bugle <laughs> and tell them that Jameson is full of it? <laughs> I'm not gonna stop you. So long. Peter? Hey, Stan. Oh, welcome back, true believer. Gosh, I haven't seen you in the store since. I can't say it enough. I am so sorry about your Uncle Ben. Oh, he was a good man. He was the best. Thanks. Thanks. I was just remembering how we used to come in together. After the mess I made house-sitting for you, I felt kind of bad. Oh, water under the bridge. Hey, can't I get you anything? Some Merry Marvel mayhem to get the old pulse pounding? Nah, I was just passing by, but I'll come back. Well, enough said. Anytime you need inspiration, I'll be right here. So he says to him, one meat lovers. Okay, in what world does meat lovers mean mushrooms? Yeah, way, and I'm like, nah, uh and she's all like, yaha, it's so true. This is Carradine, what do you need? Firepower, man. It's getting crazy out there, you know what I'm saying? We need some serious boomstick, and they say you're the guy that can make that happen. Alley behind Nuno's bar, two hours. Wait, you gonna count that? I thought we had trust. You're funny. Hey, what's that? Stop! 
Come on! Move over! Hostage. Not good. Find Carradine soon, I'll lose him. I promise, Uncle Ben. I promise he won't get away this time. He can't have gotten far. I need to report a dead body. The guy who killed Uncle Ben is gone. You'd think that would bring me some peace. But I don't feel peaceful. Not even close. Police confirmed tonight that there's a serial killer on the loose. One with a unique twist. He hunts other killers. His latest victim is Dennis Carradine, a convicted murderer and arms dealer. Carradine has been identified as the perpetrator in last year's shooting of Queens resident Benjamin Parker. Some New Yorkers we spoke to applaud the fact that violent criminals are being taken off the streets. Hey, somebody wants to clean up the trash. I say more power to them. But police caution that the perpetrator is a threat to everyone. This individual is a dangerous psychopath. He commits acts of extreme carnage and brutality, leaving the initials CK written in blood as a signature. The crime scenes are so gruesome, they shock even veteran officers. Due to the letters and the horrific nature of the crimes, authorities are calling this man the Carnage Killer. Anyone with information should call the police immediately. This is Whitney Chang for the Daily Bugle News Network. Horrible. But at least it's finally over. The man who took Ben from us won't ever hurt anyone again. Maybe now we can move on. Peter? W what's the matter? So, you feel better? My husband's still gone. I think that'll hurt forever. You said you thought maybe we could move on. Yes, uh, now that there isn't that question hanging over us. Where is he? Why don't they catch him? Now we can look ahead. But it's not like being... happy. We'll be happy again, Peter. I promise you. I wish for bad things to happen to this Carradine guy. A lot. That's perfectly natural. He killed your uncle. Yeah, but... Peter Parker, it's bad enough you feel guilty about Ben. I, I won't let you beat yourself up over this. Why would it be your fault? Did you kill that man? No. He was a criminal. He associated with awful people. It's not as if you had any control over that. What, what could you have done? <sighs> Aunt May, the truth is, I'm glad he's dead. I know that's wrong. You're relieved a bad man can't hurt anyone else. That's different. You're glad a murderer was brought to justice. There's nothing wrong with that. I know. It's just, I... Part of you wishes you're the one who did the bringing to justice? Yeah. <laughs> That's not what Ben would have wanted. He wanted you to work hard, graduate, go to college, all the things you did. Wherever he is, he's very proud <sighs> of you, and so am I. You heard Whitney Chang. Some people are grateful to the Carnage Killer. I kind of know how they feel. That's not the same as condoning it. You're not glad this Carnage person is out there murdering, are you? You want him taken off the streets, don't you? Yes. Yeah, I do. And he will be. Uh, Aunt May, can you turn that up? 
We have breaking news of a hostage situation at Oscorp. Armed men are holding several employees at gunpoint. Oh, no. Security camera footage has identified the ringleader as career criminal Herman Schultz. Schultz? What? Uh, Gwen. She still interns at Oscorp. At the office this late? No, but I should make sure. Oh, that's a good idea. I always thought you two never should have split up. Um, don't wait up for me. I always do. Now we'll see. What's your name? Max. Max Dillon? Okay, Max. Easy choice. Tell us where to find the weapons, or you die. I'm an electrical engineer. I don't have access to those areas. Then it's a bad day to be you, eh, Max? You're Mr. Spider-Man! Just Spider-Man. Mr. Spider-Man was my father. What's your name? Uh, Max. Max Dillon. I'm in R&D. Well, Max, I need you to help me out. Be my eyes and ears. Can you do that? Really? I mean, yes! I won't let you down. Good. Get the hostages out through stairwell C. It's all clear. I really appreciate the help, partner. Partner? can get to me inside. You might be able to make a deal with D.A. Harper for protective uh, custody, uh, if you help stop this gang war. Innocent people are getting caught up in it. I can't! It's bigger than me now. All the gangs in the city are at war. Everyone's scared of everyone else. The Russians got here at almost the same time you did. I know. One of my guys must have dropped a dime. Now that your future looks... Let's go with Limited. What'll they do? Keep arming up. Take out what's left of my men and everybody else in town. <laughs> they're ruthless. I promise you. By the time they're done, you'll wish you had Herman Schultz back. <sighs> so, you broke in here for a power-up? Absolutely. Guns won't do it anymore. Everybody wants an ace that the others don't have. The kind of fighter power that you can fight an army with. And I bet they don't care who gets caught in a crossfire. That's why they call them bad guys! What are all you tough guys so afraid of? The Carnage Killer! He's murdering my people, huh? The, 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 the Russians? Hammerhead's crew? Mr. Negative's men? Uh, everyone thinks the other guys are paying him. I'm starting to worry he's some kind of freak. Like that giant lizard a while back, or that dude with all the, the, the robots. So, as long as he's out there killing, the gang war goes on? And it gets worse! Unless you want to go for a butt-whipping hat trick, you'll tell the cops everything you know about the gang war. Okay, but it won't do any good. Look, the city's full of trigger-happy wise guys. Scared the carnage killer's gonna get them. That's one fire that's just gonna keep on spreading, huh? Huh. 
You know, as much as I made fun of these things, they're pretty clever. If I could get this kind of kinetic energy into my webbing... Now who's the thief, huh? <laughs> you know Oscorp, but you might not know me. I'm Harry Osborne. And when my father died, he didn't just leave me a business. He left me a New York institution. But too often lately, both Oscorp and this city have been preyed on by criminals. Now today, I'm announcing a joint venture with a man who, like me, recently returned to the city where he was born and wants to help. Wilson Fisk. New York made me the man I am. Now, I want to give something back. It was my privilege to rebuild this great city after recent crises, but that was just the start. Allow me to introduce you to the Enhanced Prime Task Force. Now the police are doing a fine job with limited resources, but when they face threats outside their normal scope, they need more, and we have to Rather than increase the burden on taxpayers, Mr. Fisk and I are financing this hand-picked task force ourselves. Vigilantes like Spider-Man only make the problem worse. This is our city, and we're taking it back together. Still willing to take Oscorp off your hands, young man. And my answer is still no. Well, that's fine. I'll just wait until you die of the disease that killed your father. Attention all task force personnel. You are authorized to begin phase one of the suppression initiative. Repeat, phase one of the suppression initiative is a go. With that freak. The spider! Kill him! Hey, wrapping up bad guys is my thing. What the? I can help you? Okay, Mr. Craven the Hunter. You got my attention. Spider Man! I like. Impressive. But you are still raw, inexperienced. I was experienced enough to beat your friends. I am Russian, but I am no friend to those pigs. My name is Sergei Kravenov. Men call me Craven the Hunter. So you left me that note. Huh. Judging from the web. You're one of those crazy reality show guys who runs around naked in the woods eating bugs. How can you help me? I can make you a true hunter. Not just a boy pretending to be a man. Should you wish to accept, you may find me here. Until we meet again. Mr. Kravenoff? <laughs> oh, I apologize for startling you. I am Craven. Please forgive my theatrics. I merely wish to demonstrate my skills. The videos online do that pretty well. I saw you take down that Siberian tiger with your bare hands, without hurting it. Tigers are endangered. I simply relocated the beast for its own safety, as well as that of the local villagers. True hunters wish to conserve the natural world. 
It is where we find peace. You're a long way from the natural world. I craved a new challenge. I came here to hunt the monsters Oscorp created. The cross species. The deadliest combination of animal and human. I ended their threat. But I grew fond of your city. And your city grew fond of me. <laughs> and I decided to stay. Except now you're hunting normal people. No! Only criminals. Only those who prey on their fellow man have anything to fear from me. This new task force is sending a pretty strong message. No vigilantes. Ah, I do not trust them. They are paid for by Fisk. I am sure you've heard the rumors of his illegal activities. Sure, everyone has. But no one can prove it. And the police seem okay with him. Because he has paid those who are corrupt. The rest are desperate to avoid looking incompetent. Well, the public is desperate for an end to the crime wave. I have only one agenda. To get results. Based on my experience, uh, research, the police aren't big fans of vigilantes. The police had their chance to stop the crime wave. They failed miserably. I, uh, don't think they like being reminded of that. I do not wish to insult them. But it would be a far greater crime to have the power to help, but to refuse to act. Would you not agree? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I would. Is man really the most dangerous game? In their own way, yes. But men are merely highly evolved animals. The current crime wave provides fascinating opportunities to study them. The patterns of the various factions. And what are you finding out? That criminals are not unlike beasts. They have hunting grounds, specific behaviors. Many travel in packs, but there are differences. Such as? Animals prey on others for survival. Only human beings are willfully cruel. Hmm. So you're saying you feel a responsibility to use your power to help? Yes. To have such power and not use it is to be unworthy of it. Uh, well, thanks. I, I think our readers will find this very interesting. Good, good. I must take this call. But please, look around. Take pictures of anything you wish. Yes? No, I said tranquilizer darts. No, I have no interest in automatic weapons. They require no skill. I am an artist! Pardon the interruption. Would you care to see my latest trophies? Cross species. <laughs> Beautiful, are they not? I thought Spider-Man captured them. An inadequate solution. They escaped. So you killed them? To save the lives of their victims, yes. But also in self-defense. They were deadly opponents. I know. I mean, I can imagine. When do you consider it okay to kill? When there is no other choice. I do not take life lightly. But when it is necessary, I do not hesitate. If my failure to act cost the life of an innocent person, I could not live with myself. I know what you mean. They all had superhuman powers. How'd you beat them? 
I have trained myself to the peak of human ability, and learned many natural means of enhancement. Not drugs, like the scum who pollute the streets, but the secrets of native cultures. Herbs, potions, mysteries forgotten by so-called civilized man. Hunting criminals? Some people might wonder if you're the carnage killer. Ah, he is no hunter, but a brute, a savage. His very existence is offensive to men like myself. So even though he's hunting criminals, you'd like to take him down? Of course. He dishonors what I do. Without honor, Peter, the hunt means nothing. Last question. Is there anything you haven't accomplished yet? Ah, uh, yes. I would like to leave a legacy when I am gone. Pass my training to a protege. My only family is a brother who, well, he chose a different path. I never had a son, but perhaps. <laughs> uh, forgive me, I am becoming melancholy as I get older. So, do you have what you need, Mr. Parker? Yeah, I think I do. Whitney! Whitney? Should I be jealous? Who is this? That's no way to talk to a lady. Or even me. Uh, Felicia? This is the number I gave Whitney Chang. How'd you get it? The name's Black Cat. As in Cat Burglar. As in I get my hands on things I'm not supposed to. How about you, Spider? Do you ever get your hands on things you're not supposed to? I heard you were back in jail. Listen, if you're calling to tease me about breaking out... I'm insulted. I can think of a lot more fun things to tease you about. If you're smart, you'll get out of town before I find the time to chase you. Funny. That's what I was going to say to you. Things are getting dangerous around here, Spider. Why don't we chase each other out of town, hmm? I'm too busy to fool around with you. I, I mean, play games with you. Bye, Felicia. I knew you would come. Yeah, well, don't get any ideas about me being your sidekick. But I'm on the trail of the Carnage Killer, and tracking's a little out of my wheelhouse. Ah, yes, the Killer. I thought he might be you. But I have watched you, and I see that you are no madman. You spied on me? Only briefly. There is much a hunter can learn from observation. I see. And the way you carry yourself like a lost child. That you lack someone to guide you. To help you become a man. I have no son of my own. I do not want my legacy to die with me. I can make you the ultimate hunter. Let us work together to... To find this carnage killer. And suppress the crime wave. Let us do together what we could not do alone. I'm still gonna operate on my own. Of course, as will I. But we will be there for each other when it is needed. Great composition. That old school dick will go to their superior. I'll stick to it like, well, me. I'm guessing this isn't a restaurant guy. The Carnage Killer. These must be all the places where he killed these guys' friends. A lot more than the police know about. I know what Craven would say. A clearer picture of the Predator's hunting grounds. I could 
do with equipment like this? Hmm. Harry won't mind if I borrow this for a little while. I'm gonna guess this was not a meeting of the Wilson Fisk fan club. Craven, I'm sending you pictures. The first one looks like a map of places the Carnage Killer struck. Ah, yes. Good. Good. The more we can learn of his habits, the better. Next up is a flyer for an anti-crime fundraiser hosted by Wilson Fisk. I think they're gonna try and kill him there. Even if Fisk is crooked, I can't let them do that. Especially with all those innocent people around. The fundraiser is tonight. They will have put their plan into action already. You must go to the location and stop them. Just one problem. I don't have an invitation. And I'm guessing you don't either. Then we must improvise. I am too well known to bypass security. But under your mask, Spider-Man, nobody knows who you are. Here's a hint. I'm not rich enough to go to this. Oh, Whitney! Uh, thanks again for using me on this. Hey, I get it. College is expensive. You want to make easy money taking boring pictures of wrinkly rich people? Go nuts! But you should probably stay away from me. Let me guess, you've got some pointed questions about the task force? Among other things. I give it ten minutes before I get kicked out. <laughs> hey, Harry! <laughs> Pete! <laughs> oh, man. I, I know we haven't seen each other much since we were kids, but... This doesn't seem like your kind of scene. Society pages. I'm a part-time photographer for the Bugle. Smile. Great. Got it. Thanks. Fisk is putting a pretty big target on his back. Why do you think he does it? He grew up in Hell's Kitchen. Lots of crime, gangs. Hmm. I think this is his way of taking control. Hmm. Standing up to the guys who bullied him when he was a kid. But knowing Fisk, He's also got a plan in place to profit from it. Hmm. Whitney Chang says the cops on the task force are crooked too. I just supply the tech. Fisk handpicked the men. But the police chief cleared them all. The chief's desperate to stop the crime wave. He's not gonna argue with the guy who's helping him do that. Well, one thing's for sure. The task force is getting results. And no one likes to mess with success. Huh. Hey, I gotta ask. Why Fisk? I hear some pretty shady rumors about him. He's the only one rich enough who is willing to work with me. I've got, I've got a lot on my plate. I can't waste time worrying about people attacking Oscorp. And our public image could use a boost. I'll tell you this though, the rumors are true. Fisk is definitely into some illegal stuff, but good luck proving it. Drinks, gentlemen. Tick, tick. Whoops! Sorry. Uh, you know, don't worry about it. I gotta go anyways. I've got, uh, important things to do. Me too. Get into my work clothes. You won't get me so easily, Spider! find out if I have to save anyone else from him. So, uh, this is gonna sound like a bad pickup line, but you seem really familiar. Have we met? Judging from your bargain basement suit, I doubt we move in the same circles. Oh, I get it. One with a silver spoon in your mouth, huh? <laughs> Hardly. For me, silver's an acquired oh, taste. Um, well, uh, I'm here for the Daily Bugle, so, uh, you know anything interesting about Fisk? I know he hangs out with rich older men. 
and you're scaring him off. So I'll have to say goodbye. <laughs> Look me up when you move out of your mom's basement. I don't live with my mom. <laughs> I live with my aunt. Well, nice meeting you. Um, my name's Peter. <laughs> As if you care. I'm Felicia. <sighs> but what? Well, he knows how to make an entrance. They're blotting out the sun. Time to talk to the big man himself. Hey, back off! Uh, should I tell Whitney Chang he has no comment on the Russian mobsters tied up downstairs? It's all right. I like this young man's boldness. He mustn't reveal that to anyone. It would play into the criminals' hands. They want to make people afraid to support my anti-crime efforts. But if no one knows what they did, they'll get away with it. And try again. Oh, I assure you. They will not get away with it. Meaning what, exactly? <laughs> well, the, the task force will get them, of course. <laughs> We've been gathering intelligence on this organization for some time. But no one's been able to stop them yet. Not the police, not Spider-Man. Don't say that name to me! Spider-Man. He fancies himself a hero. But he's let crime run rampant. The police are bound by the laws of probable cause. Spider-Man is not. If he hasn't stopped this scum by now, he's either incompetent... ...or he simply doesn't care. What's your beef with Spider-Man? Seems like you're after the same thing. If Spider-Man is going to operate outside the law, one would think he can accomplish things more... ...expediently. But he contents himself with apprehending purse snatchers. He's a dilettante. A thrill seeker. Worse than useless. Still, he does seem popular with children. In fact, I recently secured his likeness rights. <laughs> you what? How about this carnage killer? Is the task force chasing him? We are interested in catching anyone who commits a crime. But it's a lot harder to find one man than an entire gang of them. And I bet the fact he's killing guys you don't like doesn't exactly bother you. I do not condone murder, of course. But am I shedding tears for his victims? <laughs> no, I am not. Gathering intelligence, huh? Find out anything interesting? The Russians are clever. They operate in cells, each knowing very little about the others. <laughs> when one group is taken down, it rarely leads to further arrests. But someone's got to be calling the shots. Well, they do have a central base of operations, but very few know where it is. Finding it will be another matter entirely. It's this very war that will be the end of the gangs. The more they escalate, the harder it becomes for them to hide. Wait, are you saying the Russians are still smuggling guns into the city? Don't put words in my mouth, young man. I'm just the backer. I leave the crime fighting to train professionals. Now excuse me, I have funds to raise. Uh, yeah, I've got uh, important things to do too. Quick, before those task force idiots see us. Relax. We set a car on fire ten blocks away. They're distracted by that.
I haven't done this kind of heavy lifting in years. Ugh, me neither. But there's a reason we've lasted this long. Not many of our soldiers even know about this place. Yeah, here. I guess everyone's a big shot. Telling you he's right where we left him. Your men are panicking like children. I believe you. Just show me so I can tell them I saw it with my own eyes. Better yet, take a picture with your phone. You can show them yourself. We've bitten him senseless. <laughs> I bet they're wishing they'd... Please, I keep telling you. I'm not who you think I sell advertising. Then why did someone break in here to save you, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Makes sense now, eh? A weakling like you could never kill our men alone. Tell us who you're working with. Talk! Uh, nobody. Oh, please. Please, nobody. These guys seem to think you killed a bunch of their friends. It's not true. It's not true. I was going to my car, and I saw someone attack one of these Russian guys. He's the killer, not me. How'd you end up here? I yelled. Then the killer ran. I went to see if I could help the victim. Then his friend showed up. My hands were bloody. But they wouldn't believe that I didn't do it. This man you say was the real killer. What does he look like? White, uh, red hair, skinny. Wild eyes. The strength of a madman. Not the kind of madman I work with. Your license says you live in Jersey. If you can prove you weren't in the city when the Carnage Killer struck, I'll let you go. No problem. I was in San Diego all last week, at a convention. That's the ambulance I called. You'll be okay now. That's him! Wait. You can only truly know your prey by watching him stalk his own. Oh, please, dude. I didn't have anything to do with that drive-by. I was just a wheel man. Wheel man? <laughs> who saw all those people die? Yeah. Oh, you admit it? Good. Now you're going to tell me all about it. Then you're going to give me answers. <laughs> The spider. I'm a big fan of the look, but your execution? Boring. You know, real spiders liquefy their prey from the inside. You should think about it. And you're the carnage killer. Why'd you do it? I get having a grudge against criminals, but- Not criminals, killers. No one knows death better. What do they see when they feel her cold arms wrap around them? What special insights do they have? <laughs> There's so much to learn. You're crazy. And you're welcome. For what? Doing what you want to, but can't. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll show you. I can put one. Ah! Thanks for the help! You chose to disregard my advice. So, I assumed you preferred to handle matters yourself. What was that, anyway? You expected me to just stand there and watch him kill that guy? Or stop him. Permanently. I am trying to unleash the killer instinct in you, boy. The one you try so hard to deny. That's not who I am. And it's not who I want to be. Ever. Then... There will always be a greater predator than you. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Thanks for the smooth ride. I sincerely hope I can return the courtesy by slaughtering you quickly and with minimal agony. Good day, Mr. Cassidy. My name is Donald Mencken. I want to assure you that you are a most valued guest here at Ravencroft. We're going to learn a lot from you. 
And I'll learn a lot from you. Answers you don't even know you have. <laughs> Eager. I like that. Well then, let's get started, shall we? I bet that's worth some bank. Hands off. Stick to the plan. We're waiting for the spider. You set off an alarm and bring the cops. No amount of money's gonna save you from the kingpin. You dig? <sighs> They're setting a trap for me with idiots like this? <laughs> Not gonna happen. Better take out the cameras. Or the cops will blame this all on me. I don't think so. You're saying the Kingpin got you out of jail? How much power does this guy have? That's what it's all about, isn't it? Power. His, yours, and mine. <clears throat> Impressed yet? This one time I fought somebody who was a real loser, and they were still better than you. <laughs> Webs, do your stuff. <laughs> I wasn't in this, Felicia. Tell me what he did to you. I was transferred to Ravencroft. The Kingpin came to see me. Just to be clear, we're talking about Wilson Fisk. Yes. He said he knew I was after power and, and he could give it to me. You'd owe him. That's how it always works, isn't it? The doctors did experiments. They called it DNA crafting or crisscrossing. Cross-species genetics? You've seen what can happen. Why would you do that to yourself? Boy, you are thick. I did it for you, so I'd be like you, so we could be together. But then the Kingpin ordered me to kill you, or die myself. I couldn't. I can't. Felicia, I... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm not interested in your face, just your lips. I, I can get you help. Witness protection, a new life, safe from the Kingpin. And... Maybe... Maybe someday we can get to know each other like normal people. I don't want to be normal people. Run away with me. We'll go somewhere exotic. With our power, we can live like royalty. Adventure, excitement, romance. And that sounds terrible to you. No, but I've got... Responsibilities. Well, I'm not one of them. Don't worry about me. I've always done fine with a target on my back. I can't just let you go. Fisk owns too many cops. If I'm in custody, I'm as good as dead. You can't do that to me any more than I can do it to you. You ever decide you want some fun in your life? Look me up. Please, wait! Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm, uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But, as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books. So technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but after losing my dad and Uncle Ben, 
I guess I wanted to believe. You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Huh? Uh. Harry, I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's got to be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. Is that why Norman started the cross-species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure. But it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it and protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. But it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes... You still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. Put this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him. You came. Thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different from me. I'm, I'm looking into it, I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune. They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross-species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people! Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I... No, no, just... just go. Craven! Time for a little mentor-mentee chat. Now discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. Looks empty. Maybe I can still find some answer. It's all for me. He was gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, how to beat them. And how best set it right. You're a fake! A coward! This is your idea of a fair hunt? Oh no. It's only the prelude. Good. <laughs> the antidote I gave you should remove all effects of the tranquilizer. 
I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. All that talk about honor. You lied to me. You betrayed me for the kingpin and his money. That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you would eliminate the kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe I knew you would be. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now we will see who is the hunter and who is the prey. So you, you... I beg you, kill me. Give me death over defeat. You're saying death isn't defeat? You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven, but you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the kingpin. The truth. Everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask, and I shall answer. I ran into someone who says Kingpin gets test subjects at Ravencroft. How? The institution has lost all government funding. It now relies upon private donors, of which Fisk is the largest, now that Norman Osborne is dead. And they just let him experiment on inmates like some kind of Dr. Chubbenstein? <laughs> they encourage it. They view the inmates as hopelessly damaged. Useful only as test subjects. I know you. You're always checking out your surroundings. You notice everything. Yes, it's true. I met with Fisk in his building, where I took note of the locations of his cameras, weapons, and accessible points of entry. He has a Telec 4566 security system, and I know the passwords. Well, you get a gold star. Draw me a map, and don't leave anything out. The information I have given you will get you inside the building, but you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am. I'm not used to driving that kind of truck. Why can't Tony come? Because we're going to see the boss. And only his top guys get to know where he goes when he's not here. So shut up and do your job. <laughs> I had a feeling listening in on those guys might pay off. Now to stick to their truck and let them take me right to the fat man himself. Spread out. Secure the area. You got it. I want a perimeter set up. All points of entry watched. I'm on it. I catch anyone slacking off, they'll end up patting my arrest stats. Understood, sir. <laughs> Maintain radio contact. Check in every five minutes. I'll spread the word. The boss wants everyone working double shifts. I'll tell the boys. What? No elevator music? This guy's cheaper than Jameson. <sighs> Smells like sweaty fat guys and burritos in here. No offense to burritos. If it isn't the kingpin, catchy name, but I have to say, you look more like a bowling ball than a pin. Or maybe a beach ball? I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I'm impressed. You take control of crime in New York right under everybody's nose. The whole city knows you're cooking, and everyone still kisses your tookus. It must take, what, a week? A lot of ground to cover is what I'm saying. The only criminal I see is the masked man guilty of breaking and entering into my private building. 
a violent vigilante. The Daily Bugle has branded a menace. Fine, play it like that. But one way or another, you're going down. <laughs> and now you threaten me. I dare say Jonah Jameson will praise me as a hero after I kill you. In self-defense, of course. Come down here immediately! You expect me to fight him myself? What do I pay you for? Get down here! Helicopter. I'm not a fool, Spider-Man. I've admitted no wrongdoing, broken no laws. There is no evidence against me. I have proof you paid Craven. No, my task force did. As a security consultant. I am shocked and horrified to hear he's done anything improper. If indeed he has. He was hired for his legendary skills and, and a strong code of conduct that would never allow him to betray a client. Craven might not give you up, but Cassidy will. <laughs> a lunatic like that? Oh, come now. His word can hardly be believed. And besides, a man would have to be a, a fool to deal with someone of his ilk directly. I assure you, I am no fool. I'm afraid, Spider-Man, that you are the only criminal here. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. This is not an action film, boy. Just because you're young does not mean you can hack my security and gain access to my personal... How are you doing that? Huh. Now who's underestimated who? Stop that! I demand you stop... All units. Max Dillon has escaped custody and is at large in Sector 4. What did you do? I have no idea what you mean. Thank you for showing me my areas of vulnerability. I assure you, they will be gone when you return. <laughs> Those generators to make an energy shield. Gotta take I recognize that guy. What happened to him? I warned you to stay away. Now it's too late. Something familiar about you, Max Dillon? You don't even remember. You said I was your eyes and ears. <laughs> said we were partners. I remember now. I did say that, and I meant it. Liar! You abandoned me! Left me in that place. Let them hurt me. All alone in the dark.
it's affected your mind. But there are people who can help. Places you can go. No! That's what those doctors did! And all they did was hurt me! Never again! All I want is for the people to notice me! I feel sorry for the guy. He was a victim. And if what he said about Ravencroft is true, I've got to shut that place down. Oscorp's one of their big donors. Maybe Harry can help. Yeah. Mr. Osborne, you were right. Fisk is buying up Oscorp's stock for a hostile takeover. But as long as you're here, I'm confident we can stop it. Right. As long as I'm here. I have it, sir. Richard Parker's spider venom formula. But every time it's been used, there have been serious side effects. More serious than death? I'll take my chances. Now get out! Dr. Kafka, is that supposed to happen? No. I'll shut it down. Attention all task force officers. With the growing threat posed by the masked vigilante called Spider-Man, we are cleared to escalate to phase three of the suppression initiative. There is no phase four. This ends now. Whoa! Oscorp looks like a bomb went off. Or a bunch of them. We need to find out who did it. Great. Listen, I know you task force guys think I'm the second coming of Al Capone, but there's a bigger threat right now. The Goblin gave us this armor after he sprung us from Ravencroft. We work for him, and he wants you alive or dead. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna go with option two. Harry Osborne, is that really you? Does it look like me? No. Harry Osborne's dead thanks to you. All that's left is the Goblin. You couldn't wait, could you? You tried something else. Richard Parker's spider venom. And look, I'm a new man. I warned you, what could happen? I'm dying, you idiot. What else was I supposed to do? You could have let me do research. No. From now on, I take what I want, no matter who I have to kill. <laughs> I'll analyze your corpse and find out why you're stable. Then I'll do it myself. Cure the disease. <laughs> Kill me. I don't want to live like this. 
That's never the answer. It's the easy way out. You think it's hard for you? There are people sick, dying all over the world, some with the same disease, who don't have your money, resources. Even if you don't want to keep fighting for yourself, you owe it to them. You're going to answer for your mistakes and do whatever you can to make up for them. The greatest man I ever knew taught me. There's a riot at Ravencroft. We don't have the manpower to handle it. All we can do is close the bridge, seal it off. What about the people who work there? We sent us some task force guys to evacuate. They're having a bad time. Any chance you can lend a hand? On my way. This is a nightmare. How'd it get so bad so fast? It's like someone deliberately freed all the most dangerous inmates. This is worse than I ever imagined. Safety. Menken, right? You work for Oscorp. I'll try not to hold that against you. What happened here? It was... Cassidy. We tried treating him with an experiment. Don't! I know what you and Fisk were up to. Using these people as guinea pigs. Okay, fine, fine. But the danger's real. Cassidy changed into something horrible. Deadly. And he wants to make more like him. How do I stop Cassidy? Uh, I'm not sure you can. You'd have to overwhelm the symbiote we injected him with. Stop it from functioning. Inflict too much damage for it to handle. Uh, perhaps with fire, uh, or intense vibrations. Uh, it's all theoretical. We plan further studies, but... What did this nutball cocktail of yours do to him? I don't fully understand it. <coughs> but like everything else, the goal was to cure the Osborns. In this case, by creating organic, intelligent life forms... Uh, Nanites that rely on the body's survival for their own. Now listen to me. Any disease, any damage, they can recognize and heal, as well as protect and defend the host. <coughs> A symbiotic relationship. More? Cassidy's a loony psycho killer. When did he turn into a social butterfly? He had an abusive father, absent mother. He was always jealous of other kids with loving, stable families. So he's trying to create one? Yes. Out of the most dangerous inmates at Ravencroft. He wants to build a family in his image. I'll get you outside, which is more than you deserve. But then I have to go after Cassidy. I agree. He's headed for the sub-basements, where the most damaged inmates are kept. Now, if he makes them into beings like him, no place will be safe. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm fine from here. My car's outside. Get to a hospital. Tell the police everything. Or after I'm done with Cassidy, I'll come looking for you. Getting too far away from the action. Cassidy! That's as far as you go. One of you is already too many. I'm not Cletus Cassidy. Not anymore. I'm my true self now. I'm. Poor little spider. You're just not ready to see the truth, are you? I didn't web up your mouth because I don't want you to suffocate. You're starting to talk me out of it. See, you think you're joking, but I know what you won't admit to yourself. When I killed those criminals, you were happy. 
You were grateful to me, weren't you? No, I... It's not too late to understand. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. You say you're searching for answers in death, but what were you trying to do when I stopped you? Make others like you? A family? So we can spread the message, the truth, that chaos and death are the only... Wrong. You're trying to create a family because you never had one. You weren't looking for death, Cletus. You wanted the life you never had. Now who's not seeing the truth? You said you killed to understand death. What are you trying to understand? The meaning, the truth, the secrets it reveals about all of us that we're afraid to see. I can tell you that. Death is a part of life. It happens. Sometimes for a reason, sometimes for no reason. You're wasting your time looking for some cosmic answer in death. Life is where you find meaning. And buddy, you've wasted yours. What makes you think I'm anything like you? You wanted to do what I did. End those criminals forever. That's true. I didn't want to admit it, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel that way. I knew it. But that's human. Anger, wanting revenge. It's not wrong to feel emotions like that. It's wrong to act on them. Here's the real difference between us, Spider-Man. I'm at peace with who I am. You shouldn't be. And you should? Then why aren't you? Sorry, Cletus. I just figured out talking to a psycho killer isn't gonna give me the answers I'm after. I know what will. Death. <laughs> Answer, Cletus. None of us are going to find any answers here. What's the matter, Peter? You look like you lost your last friend. Hey, but I know for a fact you've still got at least one. It's Uncle Ben. I miss him so much. I just feel lost without him. He raised me. I loved him, and he died because he was looking for me. I'm not sure how to live with that. Let me ask you something, Pilgrim. Your Uncle Ben, he was one of the best people I ever knew. Everyone loved him. He had an amazing life, right? So why do you want to make it all about how it ended? What counts isn't how he died, Peter. What matters is really the way he lived. I want you to make his life mean something. I want you to be the man he raised you to be. The man that he was so proud of when he saw what you were growing into. He told you that? All the time. Your uncle knew what a tough place the world could be. He knew that it needs heroes. And hey, take it from me. You are one of those heroes. So what do you say? Are you gonna go out there and prove it? I want you to do it for Uncle Ben, and for me. Yeah. Yes, Dan. I will. I miss Uncle Ben. I'll always miss him. But I don't have to replace him, because he already gave me everything I needed. Now it's up to me to honor his memory by using what he gave me, in a way that'll make him proud. Nuff said. Nuff said. You can rely on me, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> I consider it my honor to provide any help I can. 
that what happened to young Osborne is tragic. But never fear. I'll continue to finance the task force myself. And, at the risk of seeming overconfident, I promise you, with the criminal organizations that plagued our city crushed, the crime rate will go down to a manageable level. Yeah, goodbye. There you are. Come in, my friend. Come in. I couldn't have done this without you. Chameleon. What happens now? Now, the real work begins.